Don't get a kiss. I hate it. I'll be a bug. I hate it. I'll be a bug. I say Dala. 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 That means home. In Lu. In Lu. In Lu. It means home. back to Miss Marie's and our video today starts on the road <laughs> as you can see from the thumbnail I'm going to see my parents and I'm taking my boyfriend with me for the first time and we already started our journey because it was pretty early I couldn't film but here we are uh, parked by the roadside to look at this beautiful view behind us if you're a frequent Kisumu Nairobi traveler you know this road but well, I'm not a frequent so I have to stop by and look and it's really beautiful so stay tuned if you want to see what goes on and I think this will be a part two. this is a part one of this video there'll be a part two because it's gonna be a long one also this is my first road trip with him so this should be interesting um, I'll see you guys along the way Close till I get up Time is barely on our side I don't want to waste what's left The storms we chase are leading us And love is all we'll ever trust Yeah, no, I don't want to waste what's left And on we'll go Through the wastelands, through the highways Till my shadow Turns the sun rays and I This is actually my first time in Nakuru as a city. Looks like a really clean city to me. So this place looks amazing. The mattress. <laughs> Do you have a Dr. Martin's brand in Australia? No. No? Okay. We're here though. Yeah, and we're hungry. We didn't have breakfast. We left the house really, really early. Yeah, like, that's, that's my, my plan. Get out of the city before we get ahead of the traffic. Yeah, it, it worked. worked. It's not traffic. Are you sure it worked though? People, I mean, there's not traffic. Either way, it worked. There's no traffic. <laughs> you didn't want to take chances. Yeah. We'll say so. Also, it's a six hour drive. I wanted to get there early enough. Yes. So, we're here. They have a cafe. At cafe. Let's go have some cafe. Said I did a good job. Is that thing driving itself? Yeah. Huh, okay. Cool. I don't see the con oh there's a remote control. Morning sun. Beautiful. Feels good on the skin. Lips with hash. Somebody is not appreciating the sun. <laughs> Get out of here. inside quick. He's really not appreciating the sun. I am. Till I get up, time is barely on our side. I don't want to waste what's left. The storms we chase are leading us, and love is all we'll ever trust. Yeah, no, I don't want to waste what's left. And on and on we'll go through the wastelands, through the highways, till my shadow. 
Thank you, sir. Thank you, thank you for your kindness. Would you want me to drive? Okay, I have a question for you guys. Those of you who, who are in Kenya and like most African countries, do you ever wear seat belts where you're seated at the back? Like most of us don't, but <laughs> this man here makes me wear the seat belts all the time. Like. We can't even live. Yeah. We can't save your live. life. I mean, right. I know they do save lives, but like, you know what, what, you know what else they do? They'll stop you from being really badly injured. That's the other part. You got really badly injured from a crash that you could have just stepped out of the car and walked away. And you got broken ribs and a broken nose. <laughs> Baby, if you're your jaw's get... broken. <laughs> if you're going to get so. a broken rib, from a crash, you will still get it whether you're stuck to the seat. No, it's not true. I was in a crash, and you get these big seatbelt bruises, and you sure. and you're fine. It hurts, you sore ribs, but the seatbelt saves you. Yeah, like it's legit. And just so you know, the yeah. people in the back are traveling the same speed as the people in the front. Yeah. If you crash, <laughs> you just go out the front window. <laughs> yeah. No, if we crash, pass through the. And There's your an head, airbag your here, head hits, here. Your head hits us on the way out, kills us <laughs> as you're exiting the vehicle. <laughs> How heavy is my head, babe? I don't know, it looks pretty heavy. It's probably what? Six, eight kilos, your head probably? <laughs> I don't like that. It would be. But that means that you can't use buses in Kenya. You really can't. Because they don't have seat They do have seat belts, but they don't, they don't ever use them. So they don't function. Yeah, okay. I'm just saying if it's there, you should use it. And would you board a bus if it's not there? Yeah. I'm taking you to board a motor too. Yeah, that's no. Yeah, we've got to try them out. They don't work. The seat belts don't, even in new motor I don't know if they, it's intentional that they don't get seat belts, but they just don't work. And if you wear seat belts in a motor people will be looking at you like, What's wrong with you? What's wrong with this one? Yeah, or are you preempting our death? It's ridiculous. <laughs> it's a ridiculous it is. Attitude. It's a ridiculous attitude to have. I mean, oh yeah. Well, I suppose it's ridiculous, but it's still very strange for me if I sit at the back seat of an Uber and I have to put on seat 
that. I know the drivers always look at us like, yeah. but they understand because it's you. They can see you. But if I got into an Uber and asked for like, any of the guys with the nice cars, they all have the seatbelts on. You just, you just need to watch that. The guys with the nice, clean, modern cars, they're all wearing the seatbelts. Oh, they are because they are. they'd be fine if they were not. They're wearing nice, nice. Um, yeah. They are, most of them are wearing seatbelts because if they don't, they get heavily fined. But the police here don't find people at the back seat who are not wearing seatbelts. Okay. Yeah. Well, it's like they reinforce my beliefs. I beg to differ. Have you ever been fined for not wearing seatbelts and you're seated at the back seat? Where's the police? Yeah. Let's use the police check. Should we ask them? Let's ask Baby? the police. Let's stop and ask the police. The police are not as friendly as you think here. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so they'll be thinking you're looking for trouble. <laughs> well, so how do you start pay officer? You said yeah, you said you differ. Um I haven't been fined because I don't have the money. <laughs> but <laughs> What do you mean you haven't been fined because you don't have the money? I mean they fine you if you have the money. What are they gonna do have if I don't have the money? Well, they're going to take you to to their holding cells and have your family look for money. Wow. I wouldn't bail you out for that. <laughs> Just sit in there and eat the cold, <laughs> tasteless food for two days. So you would let me die? You wouldn't die. It's the same thing. Okay. My point is, food. it's still very weird that I put, I have to wear a seatbelt every time and then I can't be the only one not wearing a seatbelt because he's wearing and the driver is wearing seatbelts yeah and then he looks at me he looks at me like Bowen are you crazy are you trying to die first few days you're like oh, I can't use it how does <gasps> the seatbelt work well I <laughs> it work how does it work I haven't driven anything bigger like an R1 and 
my um, I've got a Buell Lightning in the back home my parents garage in the shed that's like a it's like American motorcycle it's got a Harley Davidson push rod engine yep. it's got a 984 V twin which doesn't have a huge amount of power it's only got 86 brake horsepower but it's all torque like it's always there and it's got like the uh, it launches when you take off it's oh, it goes driven around with that like my mates have like CBO 600 and, a, and an R6 and yet like when you take off you go ahead of them first and then as soon as they sort of like get in the second third gear they just scream past you because it's just because I put them with power for those bikes. Actually I think a manual car can relate with it like you want it you know this uh, automatic it's there. It's so annoying. Driving automatics is very annoying. They just change gears when they want. And put it to a lower gear go ahead and then yeah. Pika Kisumu Dala, say Dala babe. Dala. Dala. That means home in Luo. Oh. Really home. Oh. In Luo, it means home. Oh. Say it again. Dala. But it's not Dala, it's Dala. Dala. Yeah. Or Nyumbani. 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 Yeah. Nyumbani. Nyumbani, that is home. Nice. So home, no. Nyumbani. Home. Nyumbani. Nyumba is house. Uh, Nyumba ni is home. Get it? Yeah. Okay. I'll ask you this in exactly one hour. Oh, okay. Maybe wait, wait. This is, and you say I don't teach you Swahili. Yeah, you wait till I'm driving on the road to everyone trying to kill us. <laughs> teach me Swahili. Yeah. yeah that's that's a good time to really try and hone in my conservation so I can remember something. When everyone's trying to overtake each other three abreast. <laughs> on a road that should only be two. Yeah. Fine, I'll teach you in one hour's time then. Um, we are in Kisumu. Celebrate New Year's this year. <laughs> Kisumu, DJ Daddy. <laughs> <laughs> DJ Daddy. DJ Daddy. I don't think I can hear this. Why? You can be anything. On the wheels of steel. Sure. Yes. From 12 a.m. Yeah, to 3. DJ Daddy. <laughs> We are in Kisumu, we are getting into Kisumu town now, guys this place gives me nostalgia. The last time I was here was like, was like 6 years ago, is it 6 or 8? You don't know, I'm telling you, I'm thinking this is a me to me conversation. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's about 8 years ago, I was in high school. So I still know some of the places it has changed massively like most of these structures were not there when I left and, uh, This is it's like um, a residential area just before the city The Amit getting here. Yeah, I'm listening. It's called Nyamas area I don't know why though It chose that name Hold me close till I get up Time is barely on our side I don't wanna waste what's left The storms we chase are leading us And love is all we'll ever trust yeah, no, I don't want to waste what's left And on and on we'll go Through the wastelands, through the highways Till my shadow turns to sun rays And on and on we'll go Through the wastelands, through the highways Have a look and see what it looks like. Yeah. No problem. Guys, 
plenty. We of feel like we have been <laughs> catfished because the hotel that we booked and what we saw online and what we're seeing now doesn't look like the same thing. What we ordered is not what we got. But let's see, we haven't gotten into the room yet, rooms yet. And it's just, oh, I would be really disappointed. Let's go see what the rooms look like. They don't even have an inside parking, so we have they to might park do, we don't know. They might do. They might do, we haven't gone in yet. Wait, where's the gate? We'll go figure it out. Okay. Alright, so uh, let's go see. Let's go have a look. Oh, it should be a big. isn't that bad like ew, nice I have a nice little sink here no. hold me close till I get up time is barely on our side I don't want to waste what's left 
storms we chase are leading us And love is all we'll ever trust Yeah, no, I don't wanna waste what's left And on and on we'll go Through the wastelands, through the highways Till my shadow turns to sun rays And on Okay guys, so we already booked in and I already met my parents as you probably have seen. It was a little awkward because we, we met them just coming down the stairs and then we had to go back up and then start a fresh. But yeah, um, just a bit intense. They said it was okay with it. I was too, but like it's not, wasn't like a major event that I thought it would be. But anyway, um, as for the room and the hotel, it really isn't what we saw, but it's workable and we were too tired to start looking for another hotel. So we decided to check in because it's only for two days. I've shown you guys what it looks on the inside. The outside is actually not, not good, not well maintained, but yeah, it's, well, it's worth the money. I'm going to say so. And what else? So... The rooms come with bed and breakfast, so that means that we get breakfast for free, but we can go buy lunch or dinner and anywhere we want to. Yeah, and I think that's a really good thing. Yes? Ah, no, I'm okay, I'm good. Yeah. Um, and um, got three rooms, my brothers, my parents, and ours on three different floors of course and that's how we're gonna be living for the next two days well this is the part, part one of this video i think that the no i don't think there's gonna be a part two so watch out for that i don't want it to be too too much of a long video so i'll probably end it here and start the next one but we're gonna be we we are showering changing because i'm literally still in my traveling clothes so i want to get showered change and then go and properly say hello to my parents and have a chit chat i hope it doesn't get awkward <laughs> hopefully not and yeah this is a big step for me this is a big event for i mean it's a big step for the both of us and my parents as well so i hope that everything goes well fingers crossed anyway thank you guys for watching up until this part and i hope that you enjoyed the video if you did please give it a thumbs up subscribe comment share turn on your notification bell so you don't miss out on any of my uploads which is weekly or twice a week if i'm lucky but yeah i'll see you guys in my next one bye